What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Edmonton Oilers and we're picking up where we left off here just had the draft very very strong and uh, did some re-signing and things like that and now we're moving on to the free agency period before we get into that I don't believe I showed these um, after uh, but and during last episode I should say so Buffalo won the Stanley Cup so Carolina then Buffalo Pittsburgh with the Presidents, and it was Nashville against Buffalo <laughs> in the Stanley Cup. Nashville lost again. Buffalo gets a cup. Congrats. Uh, Art Ross to Ovi. Hart Memorial to Ovi. Two years running. John Carlson, two years running on the Norris. Uh, Lady Bing to uh, Elias Pedersen. Uh, Calder to Ryan Donato. Uh, Hutton with the Con Smythe. Apparently, he did crazy good. The Vesna to Bobrovsky, as well as the William M. Jennings. Yulson gets the uh, Bill Masterton. Uh, Selkie to uh, O'Reilly, as I as predicted. Ted Lindsay, two years running to Ovi. And the Maurice Richard to match Max Patch already. All right. So, there we have it. And now, before we start uh, looking at free agents and uh, things like that. Have a few names to read off from uh, the uh, winners. So we none last year, but we got some this year. No clean sweeps, but a few people with two or more right. In fact, five, six by my count, actually. So let's get into that. First up is fucking Stallion Duck, who guessed Team McDavid uh, and the goaltender Bobrovsky. So there you go. Pedersen was close. He, he was up there for points, and that was an interesting guess. I guess with the increased overall or stat whatever's. <laughs> Whatever that setting is, you can kind of guess more of those, you know, high offensive type dudes. Anyway, uh, next up, Nathan Bettman guessed uh, Team McDavid and the league lead for defense, John Carlson. So there you go. Koskinen, interesting guess. You never know when those guys are going to, those fringe goalies are going to have those crazy good years. Next up, uh, can't think of a name. Team lead was uh, McDavid and league lead, John Carlson. Also guessing Vasilevsky, which is, always seems like a firm guess, although recently I haven't seen him be up there, so, hmm, who knows. He'll probably do it this year, now that I said that. Uh, now, next up is Emil Vachon, who guessed team lead McDavid and the goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky. Sagan, another good guess. Dallas seems to do way better in here than they do in real life. Uh, next up, once again, Swagalicious Gaming, who guessed McDavid and John Carlson. Also guessing Vasilevsky in there. And last but not least is Tobias Rug with McDavid and John Carlson. Again, Bishop, never a bad guess, especially after the... Didn't he just have like a... Yeah, he had a really good year the last one. Probably got some stat growth. You never know. He could uh, swing it together and do the same thing again. Clickety-clack. Mic noises. Because I'm clicking on my mouse pad. And this desk sucks. Anyway, I believe I explained that last time. Feels feels like it needs a bearing again because everyone <laughs> it's like, like last series or something like people are like what the hell's that rumbling noise? Eh, it's just my shitty desk reverberating the energy from my mouse. All right, so free agency now. There's uh, Barry. That's kind of the one I had in mind to kind of improve the defense, and it won't really cost that much I mean we have 14 mil of cap space and I think that this makes sense no team's interested in him right now we've drafted pretty darn well these last two years we've showed signs of improvements we made the playoffs I'd say Barry would come to it might come to a team like this you know mid 80s he could play he could get the t uh, chance to play top two where otherwise he'd be playing top four you know I don't know 28 years old I think I kind of like that now I don't know if I want to give him five years that's the thing I'm a little hesitant on. Let me let me check what our contract situation's like. Who we will have to sign. We have a few guys who are going to be on entry levels. Nuge needs an extension. We can get him for less. It's not going to be a big deal. Sakara, same thing. But we could probably just let him go. Uh, I think we'll be fine, honestly, to give him five years. Five years would line him up with Dreisaitl. Do I want to give him less, though? Maybe th three lines him up with Clef Bomb. Not that it's a big deal that he lines up with people. Nurses lined up with McDavid, Dry Saddle, five years. Do I want to do five years? 
Like, I'm, I'm just trying to consider what I want to do. We're going to have a weaker goaltender. Unless, of course, I pick someone up, which I was likely going to do. I think we'll be fine. Really. I mean, we're not going to have anyone coming off entry level. The Yamamoto is not going to cost a whole lot. Dimitrakos is on his first year. He won't... I mean, he might cost a lot when he comes off, but we should be able to negotiate the space by... Yeah, I think it'll be fine to get five years. Yeah. Takes him up until he's 33. He'll be solid. And he could play top four or top two, depending. So, I, you know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to do the five years. I want to kind of get Barry and not have to overspend for him. I'll go to 6.5 for five years. And, you know, someone might steal him from us, which isn't the biggest of deals, but we don't want that to happen, so... Let's see what happens here. We'll offer him that. And I don't think we need any forwards. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure we were pretty good on forwards. But let's actually double check uh, how our situation's looking. We have a lot of guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guys are all under contract. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Kako's not though, is he? No. 11. 12. I think I can use one. Yeah, because Benson. Benson might also not be ready. He might be lit, but he should get a jump. Let's grab one for. I might use Benson as depth or just play him anyway. He's 22 by this point, so it's time for him to break into the NHL. If he doesn't. If he doesn't, you know, become anything, then he doesn't become anything. But let's grab, like, I might even grab Andres Lee here. Well, we still need the goalie. Hold on. I think I want to go for Markstrom. Two years, that's fine. I think that lines him up. Uh, two by five, I guess. You probably won't have the money for Andres Lee here. We're five plus six is 11. Yeah, we're going to have to pick up just a depth guy. Which is fine. Not a big deal. We want to give some of the bigger time to other guys. Uh, VC's available. He's always pretty solid. But he's costing a bit. Which is interesting. I'm not too sure why. It's yet another really good defensive player. But why is he costing so much? I'm only getting him for a year. That's interesting. You know what? Let's do that. I want to see why he's costing so much. But this is more than affordable. And it's only for a year. That's, that's easy. So I really like VC. He's always fun to pick up. He's a very, very good depth guy. And, well, fourth, third liner. Wherever you play him, he's going to be very good. All right. And you're going to see a bunch of scout stuff pop up because I signed a bunch of new scouts, fired a few. Just improving that scout pool here. Keep going. More scouts. I think I did like seven or eight total replaced. Uh, Kruger for fourth. No, thanks. I want Kruger. Speaking of that, I should update my trade block and just have Lucic on there. Yep. <laughs> uh, no. Keep my first. Get out of here. And just get Luch each the hell out. Try to. Let's take away the surplus because we don't care about that. But keep the wants. What are our wants right now? Future picks. Yeah, that's fine. Four plus. Yep. There you go. That's my new trade block. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get these signings here. Uh, so VC accepted. That's good, but we're still waiting on Markstrom and Barry. Barry accepted. Markstrom accepted. Okay, and we didn't offer him a whole, whole lot. Like, keeping Barry at the same amount of years really helped us in that we didn't have to raise his price too much. And Markstrom, that's just a great signing. That's a really good signing for us. Okay, so I think that'll be it for free agency here. I don't think I need to do anything else. I don't think I don't have any RFAs. I don't need to make trades. So I think we're solid right now. Yeah, I think we're going to sim up, see what lines we're going to be going with. I'll have to assign all my scouts and things like that. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, get ready, guys. This could be this could be an interesting year. I'm not too sure what's going to happen here, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, speak of the devil. The New York Rangers will take Lucic's contract 
And we're basically swapping thirds here. Uh, I'm taking this no matter what. This is great. This is exactly what we needed. All right. So we got those lines all sorted out, sent out the scouts and things like that. So this is what we're going to be rolling with. Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, and Everly. And a second line, Dimitrakos, Dreisaitl, and Yamamoto. We'll see how this works out. I'm thinking Dim Dimitrakos should uh, jump up pretty good. Uh, Yamamoto. Hopefully, same deal. Uh, third line, Benson, Kyra, and Osborne. This is the guy we just drafted, so a bit of a scoring third line. And then VC, Kru VC Kruger, and Paquette on the fourth line. So very different look. So many more younger guys. Look how many rookies. Dimitrakos, Yamamoto, Osborne, Benson. All rookies right there. Defensively, Clefbaum, Barry, Nurse, Sakara, Bouchard, and Benning. Also, Bouchard's a rookie. We'll see how he does. He might need another year in the AHL, but... I'm, I'm gonna give him I'm giving him a shot here the game said try him out you know put him up here so that's what I'm doing uh, scratches reader and and gravel I have Caleb Jones back in the AHL I think he'll benefit more from like top two time there then depth time here power play Eberle McDavid Dreisaitl with Barry and Osborne on the point and then Yamamoto Nuge Dimitrakos with Clefbaum and Benson on the point so getting trying to get all those younger guys in there extra ice time etc extra production hopefully they can grow uh here's the four-man power play pretty basic uh penalty kill though kruger dry saddle barry nurse pocket and vc benning and clef bomb and then uh yeah there's that now i'm keeping bouchard off uh off the special teams right now i could put him on there I mean, I would replace either Clefbaum or Barry, which isn't ideal. So I think I'll leave him off and just let him play basic top six time right now. All right, so four on four. McDavid, Drysaddle, Barry, Clefbaum, Nuge, Everly, Nurse, Sakara. Here's where it gets interesting. Yamamoto, Osborne. Yamamoto's got decent face-offs, so I feel like, plus with his passing ability, Osborne being a sniper, I think they could benefit each other very well. And, of course, Bouchard back there. Three on three. Same thing all the way across, except Barry, Cluffbaum, and then Nurse. Extra attacker, McDavid, Dreisaitl, and the shootout lineups. And last but not least, the goaltenders, Jacob Markstrom and Anthony Stallars. So we got Markstrom on a 2x5 deal. We'll see how he does, prove himself, maybe get some more stat growth. And by that point, we'll probably keep on keep him until we, uh, on with the stat growth, until uh, Knight is fully developed. And takes over the team, which he should very well do uh, pretty soon. Speaking of which, he's not signed yet, is he? No. Okay. Next year, we'll have to sign him. That's right. All right. So, there we have it. The new and imp hopefully improved Edmonton Oilers. Hopefully, Dreisaitl can carry this line. It's a, it's kind of risky putting Yamamoto and Dimitrakos with him. It's pretty... uh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, again, we'll just see if he could carry that line, basically. We're going to need a lot of goal scoring. We have a lot of offensive threats, but not too sure how the, how the chemistry will work right now with this lineup. But really, there's only one way to find out. So let's do it, I guess. Let's get the simming underway. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So we didn't have to make any trades or anything like that, but yeah. That's that's a good thing. However, eh, I mean, we did make the trade for Lucic. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm trying to think ahead here. Like, I'm my mind's moving like a thousand miles per second with this. Um, I'm just trying to think in the future what will happen this year. And uh, depending on growth, I'm still thinking of Capo Caco. I don't have him signed. Uh, Reason being, I want to see if he's actually ready for NHL or just growing slowly. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, continuing on here. I'm done with my scouts. Get out of here. Regular season about to begin. We did pretty good in preseason, but there you go. Lose 6-1 to one in the first game of the season uh, uh, to Calgary. Beat them 6-2 to two coming back. So, all right. A little bit of uh, interesting stuff right there. 3-2 to two loss. Not good. Um, AHL injury. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we'll be good enough this year for playoffs. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I kind of have it in me 
that I think we can make the playoffs again. Yeah, we got rid of Koskinen after he moved to a proven elite. But the fact is, we're trying to build a core here. I think moving him was the best use of that value. Oh, wow. That, that better change, all this draft ranking. <laughs> that really better change. We got anything yet? Not a whole lot. Lefty, I probably need a righty defenseman. I'll let the I'll let my scouts keep going the way they are. Yeah, let, let's let them go the way they are for now. Next time they ask me, I'll assign some more manual stuff. There we go. Nice. Ooh. There we go. Okay. You know what? I think we'll be okay here. Look at this. Look at the wins. Three. It was six, three, and one. Stop the sim. I hope. Did I? Did I? I yeah. I think I was supposed to stop it around here. I don't know if I did. Having a bit of a brain fart. But seven, three, and one. Yeah. I right. Well, as of now, we're a good team. We're starting off good. Holy crap! And look at Drysaddle go. Seventeen points in eleven games played. That is actually an insane amount. Why is he doing so good? Is he, is he really actually boosting the other two young guys up with him? I'd love that. Uh, th wow, 3.91 goals for, but goals against is a bit of an issue, 3.27, that needs to improve, 27.3 on the power play, bad penalty kill, uh, I didn't think the penalty kill looked too bad, but it might also be our goaltending, that's just in the toilet, 17 points for uh, dry, dry saddle, 13 for McDavid, 12 for Yamamoto, 11 for Eberle, 11 for Dimitrakos. this is really good, this is exactly kind of what we're after, 10 for Nuge, 8 for Benson, where is... Osborne's only got five and nothing on the power play yet. Interesting. So not doing outstanding yet. He is playing third line, but that's where he needs to be playing. And I am giving him power play time. I got to guess leave him there. Benson's doing slightly better, but he's also getting freaking power play production. I'm like, I guess I'll leave Osborne where he is. Yeah. It's not great, but I mean, who cares? I think he'll... Yeah, Kyra isn't the best third line. I bet, he, I bet you if I had a better producing third line center, I could get more done. But I I just don't really have that option, I don't think. Defensively, Barry's got six points. Clefbaum with four. Yeah, not a whole lot of point scores, but that's okay. We just need him to help out the goaltender. Although, it doesn't seem to be doing great right now. Because there you have it. Stolarz has played a game. He didn't get a shutout, but he got the win. Huh. Not, I guess he came in at part one. I'm not even too sure what happened with that. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, Markstrom not doing too good. He's being bailed out, but he's not doing too good. Which is fine. We only got him for two years. Not a big deal if he doesn't do incredible for us. But yeah, you'd like you'd like a little bit more. Can Let me just double check. I got Osborne where I think I do. Just because I don't want to miss out on anything. He's right there. And Benson's with this one. What's your power play production been like? One point. If Clef's bomb's higher, they might just have the second pairing. No, I guess not. I was going to say they might just have the second pairing playing with the first unit a lot. That happens sometimes. I think we'll leave that. But penalty kill is really bad. Can I make that better? Kruger's good. He takes the you know good face-offs. Maybe just get Drysidle out of here. Doesn't feel like this should be bad, but who else goes in there besides Drysaddle? Maybe Kyra? That doesn't make sense. Maybe Nuge. But I feel like I need Drysaddle in there for the ice to screw. I'm just going to leave it. It might just be the goaltending. You know, I, that doesn't look bad to me, so I'm not going to overreact and start making moves on there. I want to see if the goaltending settles itself, and then if the penalty kill will start settling itself too. That might just be it right now. So let's sim up this next... Oh, wait, we did have everyone... Sc yeah, we already had everyone scouted. Speaking of which, let me actually stop, because I'm thinking of Capo Caco right now. He might be scouted, fully scouted. But yeah, I think everyone's kind of playing almost where they need to be. I don't think, Dim yeah, Dimitrakis did jump up to 82, but no, he still is his third line. I think I'll play him here, though, because, yeah, I'm not replacing anyone else. He's doing way too good there. Let's leave him. Um, Yeah, everyone's kind of around where I expected him to be. I wish Yamamoto got a bit higher, but... We'll probably get him stat growth after this year at the very least. So there's that. Anyway, what I was mainly going to do here from stopping was to check on Capo Caco. Again, I might just leave him off contract even if he's really, really good. 
79. He is listed as third line. Eight points in 16 games played. I think I'll just leave him off contract. I, I, if he's 80 overall or higher, I'd do it for sure. But I'm not going to play him fourth line. I don't really have room for him on the power play. I don't have... Osborne can take face-offs. Hmm. Kyra. I mean, Osborne's better at face-offs than Kyra. Ooh. Hmm. So here's what I'm thinking. Dumping Kyra. Who's on one year. Moving Osborne to the center and signing Capococco to play on the third line. Very young third line. But this is the direction we're moving in. I think I'm going to do that right now before I do much else. Yeah, he's a bit on the lower side. 79, but I think he'll do well. And he's ready for NHL, so... Screw it, let's do it. We're going to get Kyra out of here, I think. Or I could hold on to him. No, I can, I can actually get something decent for him. Get a decent pick for Jujar Kyra. Let's see here, what do we need? We got two firsts in a second, so that's the max. I can't get another first in combining this, unless it's very late, and I don't think that even works. Oh, we have three, thir holy crap, I think I have too many picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do, I have too many picks for this year. So I could try to combine some picks, and maybe get another first, like combine with the second, plus Kyra. Let's look for someone who's listed as a champion. That pick, I mean, it's not too, ah, oh, damn. You know what, let's go for this anyway. Because if I also come, I have to combine another pick in here anyway. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, but I'll be taking a pick back, so that'll be 10 still. Yeah, I have to send one in anyway. Let's say, uh, we might have to be the New York one. Let's try the Chicago one first. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. They want to give it up, so it might, not quite. Hold on a sec. Can we just get another first here and go crazy on firsts once again? Maybe. What do they say to this? Not particularly interested. Not where I need to be. Okay, do I have any... I don't think I have any fringe starters. No, I only have starters. You know what? I could chuck this guy in. That'll definitely go through. But I still have to move the pick. So let's grab another pick from next year then, I guess. I can grab a second from next year. That should go through. Mm, there's no way I get a first. They are listed as champion, but they don't want to give it up, and there's zero chance that'll go through. It looks even, but there's no way, right? Yeah, quite far off. Okay, okay, forget that. Not going to make that work. Let's do that, and maybe one more. What else do I have for next year? Maybe a third in there? Next year, what do I got? I got one, two, three... Four or five, just the basic picks. Seven of them. Seven. Yeah, so we can grab like a second and a third for next year. And that's when the low elites will start coming in more too. So I like getting a second and a third for next year. I still feel like I'm not getting enough back because I'm throwing in Anisimov. They could really tank this year though. Which is why trading for that pick now where they're at, it could really benefit us. It could kind of come back to buy us, but at the same time... We got to move this guy anyway, and I'd rather have another first. Let's do it. Oh, really? What? All right, remove the third? Really? Quite close to, it's quite close to, wow, okay. I guess I was overestimating, even though it looks very, very even. But then again, the Leafs are just trash to try to trade with, apparently. I would have to add in something else. Which is kind of hilarious. I don't know if even know if I have any like trash guys to send across. I do. But all these guys are being actually used right now. So I actually don't really have anyone else to send across. Not giving up any of my low elites. It'd have to be a pick. Which basically means a seventh. And we could pick up a seventh at some point if we want to trade for one. Not the biggest deals. That sucks. They might not even accept this, by the way. Yeah, they're not going to. Holy crap, this is bullshit. I'm not dealing with the 
Maple Leafs then. I still want to trade Kyra, but that's some BS right there. All right, this might work a bit better. More of the stuff is matching on the block. Now, of course, Vegas could have a really good year after this, which would make the pick not as good, but... And trading these picks would kind of suck, but we kind of have to get rid of picks anyway. I'm going to use Anisimov, get another second from next year. This looks like it should go through with all the blocks matching. We won't get the third anymore like we would with M Maple Leafs, but that's not the biggest of deals. So let's see if this will go through. Woefully insufficient. Really? It doesn't look that bad to me. I don't understand why they're saying woefully insufficient. It really doesn't look that bad. I'll go for like a three and a four, though, from next year. Still want a couple picks. I am not understanding their logic right here at all. Too far off. Yeah, this really doesn't make sense to me. Look how much I'm giving them. Really ridiculous. If I go for Washington's pick. And their pick from next year should be less, technically. All right, let's see what they, uh, if they're giving me the same thing, I'm just, I must be just off. Yeah, quite far off, man. I'm not understanding that. It doesn't look, the value doesn't look that bad to me. Like, I'm looking at the bars. They look, they look actually more skewed in their favor. All right, there we go. Quite close to fair value. So we're getting there now. Okay. So I can add as a seventh for this year. And that should work. I'll go up to like a fifth. I'm not going to go beyond that. But I think a six should do it. Well, I say that, but Jesus Christ, man. They're being really stingy lately. There we go. That's a lot. They could get better. Again, it's very early, and this is kind of a risky, but I wanted to get rid of them anyway. Needed to get rid of them some picks anyway. It could work out really well. It could work out not so well, but still, with the late first, you could still get yourself a medium elite, still get yourself a, a low elite. Any one of those will work. So it's actually not too bad here. Um, I have to just put someone in here for now, which I will do. For Kyra, he's only playing five on five, so I'll just put in my depth guy, which is Reader. Just sub him in right now. I'm gonna go sign uh, Kako here, and yeah, put him on the team. I think it'll be good. Speaking of which, I should also extend Nuge if I'm going to. Where is he? Oh. In the system. There we go. Yeah, 1979. He is listed as third line here. Hopefully that doesn't change right after I sign him. It shouldn't. But you never know. Get him to his entry level. There we go. And now, I don't know if he gets put. He should be put on my main roster, actually. That's usually what happens when you sign guys, right? No. Okay. Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes it doesn't, apparently. <laughs> He should be in the juniors, right? No. Yeah, call him up. Yeah, there's because he came to right. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to think. I'm like, there's no, yeah, he 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 didn't play for a CHL team. All right, so we're just gonna sw switch him out with Co with Kako and then put Osborne in the center because he's actually got faceoffs. He's got 78 faceoffs, which isn't bad. Kako's actually got 74, which is like on par with what uh what what. Kyra was so really not even really losing much here with this move but now we got Capo Kako in here kind of mid-season but I think he's gonna help our team out I think he's gonna help this line out regardless two-way forward sniper playmaker I like it I do like it let's see we'll see what happens here very early in the season but this could really work out we can get this month last month of November done really go into the stats here really take a look at things and see where we stand. Oh, good. That's what you want to see after you just make some significant moves. Two losses in a row. Oh, God. There we go. That's that's better. Scoring a lot. And then we lose again. Get a point out of it, but we're losing games. Oh, my God. It's not it's not Kyra. If I guess we were just going to do this anyway, apparently. I think it's Markstrom. <laughs> we're scoring a pretty decent chunk. Like, look at the game. All right, right there. That's an exception, but 
Uh, oh my god, here we go. Cool, I actually thought we were going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to blame that on the trade. All we did was bring in Ju uh, br or release Jujar Kyra, who wasn't on the penalty kill. He was just playing third line center. So carefully healed. Come on, guys. Get back on the winning side. There you go. I still think we have a chance to make the playoffs. I'm not going to go all in to make the playoffs or anything like that. That was just a bad month. Again, it wasn't even that bad. Look at the games we lost. Three goals, four. Four goals, four. Three goals, four. Three goals, four. These are all winnable games. And Koskinen last year was winning um, winning us some of those games because he played so well. Markstrom this year, pretty, pretty bad. But what can you do? We got him. We're out of a wild card spot right now. And three points off of one, which isn't great. We might be able to make it. If we don't, it's not the biggest deal. Again, it still isn't. We're not like, I think next year is the year where we're like, yeah, if we don't make the playoffs, there's an issue because still look at our roster. Yeah, I mean, we're scoring plenty. This is bad, though. That's bad. This is good. This is bad. So you can see it's our defense that is the biggest issue here. And I would honestly put a lot on the shoulders of Markstrom. Our defense wasn't much better last year. And Koskinen did fine. I think Markstrom's struggling here, which is a bit unfortunate. But look at Dreisaitl go. 34 points in 24 games played. McDavid with 29 and 24. Eberle with 23 and 24. Dimitrakos with 20. Yamamoto with 19. Nuge with 18. Barry with 18 now. Oh, nice. Benson. VC's got more points than Osborne. Come on, seriously? What's Kako done? Three points in 13 games played. Okay, apparently that really is not working. That line. Thought it would. Now he's listed as fourth line because that's always what happens. I guess we'll switch some stuff up then. I really thought that line would work. <laughs> I know they're not great overall wise and stuff. At least Osborne's growing, so that's nice to see. Or was he already 82? No, that's Dimitrakos. Yeah, he's growing at least. Pretty bad. Especially the minuses and stuff, but I honestly, I probably won't worry about it. I'll probably keep playing them all right here. I don't see a reason not to, honestly. I think part of the reason is they're just not being carried. Could even get Osborne to get carried by a dry saddle here. Hmm. Can Nuge carry a line? He's only got 18 points. Probably not if he's only got 18 points, but I'm just thinking. How much does this guy shoot? He is only playing third line. That's decent, but he is on power play too. Hmm. I could try something like this out. Get the two snipers on the one time with McDavid. <laughs> I'm thinking this, like... Go with someone to carry each line and go with the young guys on the wing. Besides that, really, he's not young. But you see what the general idea is here. Might work, might not. But it seems to really be working with Dreisaitl and those guys. So I'm kind of thinking maybe it'll work in this case, too. Benson's a goal scorer. Nuge, not so much. Kako, he could be an assist guy. So I think it better suits Osborne to be out of there. Even though he's got better face-offs. Even better than Nuge. It's only two. So this is kind of what I'm thinking for the lines here moving forward. Uh, penalty kill might just be bad. Stolars is doing great. Markstrom's doing horrible. Look at Stolars go, dude. He's killing it. Should switch to manual, eh? And then if I if I switch to manual, Stolars will start doing bad. I guarantee you. That's just what happens. Um, but yeah, so I think the trade was something that needed to happen regardless. Um, I think it, it, it could pay off a lot more when we see this stuff. Honestly, it just frees up more space for young guys to come in. And I don't think we're rushing along Kako. He is listed as fourth line. I think playing third line will be fine. I think he'll still develop just fine. And even if not, he developed really slow off contract last year. <laughs> so I have an excuse for just rushing him and signing him now, trying to get him in there. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking for the Lions here is going with a guy to carry the line and then some younger guys with good offensive upside. Good offensive upside. Good offensive upside. Not as good defensive upside, but really good defensively. And, of course, Everly. And then, you know, solid guy. Decent offensive upside. Not great. 
and decent. So kind of a triple scoring line with a strong center in each of these. That's the idea here. You guys can let me know if you have some different ideas, but that's kind of what I'm going for. Because like I said, it seems to be working with Dreisaitl on that second line. So um, maybe if I apply that same logic to all the other lines, it could work as well. Like, it could flop, but at least we'll know. And like I said, we're still experimenting with this team. We're still trying to figure it out. We're still building up the core. And that's what these few rebuild type years are about. Figuring out how this team's going to work. Figuring out where we need to play young guys, etc., etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll continue with the sim uh, in the next one. I didn't check progress reports, but I'll probably just do that at some point uh, as in the next video as well. Um, yeah, we'll see how some of those low elites are going. All right, guys. So let me know about the trade and uh, any line change ideas that you guys also have as well. Let me know about those. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.